Conservative pundit Laura Ingram is calling for Republicans to defund the military. Wow. Uh, what would seem like a moment of clarity about the tons of money that goes to the military and military contractors. The reality is that she's looking to protect the white supremacy in the ranks of the armed forces. Uh, so this all started uh, when the Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin at his confirmation hearings, uh, where he vowed to root out white supremacy and right wing radicalism in the military. So on Wednesday, a couple days ago, he tweeted out just how they were gonna begin that process because it seems like a pretty big one. So he tweeted, today I met with senior leaders to discuss extremism in the military. As a first step, I'm ordering a stand down to occur over the next 60 days. So each service, each command, and each unit can have a deeper conversation about this issue. It comes down to leadership, everyone's. So he's gonna break it down amongst all of them to do it this way. There's more details about how they're looking to approach this. And they also understand exactly how tough this might be. Um, so uh, at, over at Vanity Fair, they were talking about, uh, they quoted John Kirby, uh, who is uh, the Pentagon spokesperson saying, we don't know, uh, we don't know how we're going to uh, be able to get, get after this in a meaningful, productive, tangible way. And that is why we had this meeting today. And that is certainly why he ordered this stand down. So John Kirby was saying that. So it's a bit of a tough thing. So after all that went down, Laura Ingram had a little bit of anger towards the way they were gonna go about this. And she had this to say about what she wants to do. Are they worried that members of the military are gonna side with the Constitution instead of crazy social justice warriors who wanna remake America and even remake the military? Finally, a message to the Republicans like Liz Cheney. This is your opportunity to show everyone that you'll fight harder against the Democrats than you do against Donald Trump. Refuse to allow a single US taxpayer dollar to fund this ideological and un-American purge of the US military. Or expect a lot of us to push for steep cuts in military spending. After all, why should we fund an organization that Democrats plan to use not to protect us, but to restrain us? Who is us? How many times is us getting thrown around in that when we're obviously talking about white supremacy and people who have been in military ranks pursuing this type of stuff without us really noticing it or really doing anything about it? This is where the anger comes. Now suddenly there's we need to pull back some funding on the military before they before they they, they rip us apart and take us out. Who's us? I thought I don't know if she's ever denied her stances on what she feels white, how she feels about white supremacy, but she's definitely letting us know every other time she speaks about it the way she really feels. This is the golden calf for the Republican Party is the defense of our nation, the military. Oh my God, if we defund it, you know we die. Do you know that immediately, as soon as we take a dollar from the military and put it in something more useful, you know we'll die. You know the country like implodes and goes into this hole that starts right around Missouri. That's what happens to the country. But hey, if we're talking about ridding white nationalists and white supremacists from the military, let's take away all that money because that's more important than the country collapsing on itself. So JR, excellent point. The Secretary of Defense said that they wanted to make sure that there weren't white supremacists and right wing extremists within the ranks working against the United States government. If Laura Ingram thinks that's us, well, then you've kind of answered your own question. Okay, so you've you've admitted that that you're in that category, and she says not a dollar to the United States military if they're going to root out white supremacists. But that is not a new opinion. You should not be overly surprised by that, because remember, white supremacists in the South attacked the United States military to defend white supremacy. That is literal. That's a fact, that's exactly what happened. They, so they uh, prioritized their racism to maintain slavery over their love of the United States or the United States military. In fact, that's why they attacked the US military and murdered so many of us to protect their cherished white supremacy. So there's nothing at all new for the right wing. That's the history of America is the right wing doing that for centuries. So in the longer version of that rant that went on air, she conflated so many things. She said, "Oh, this is, uh, you know, uh, are they going to be targeting Christians? No, they never said that. You made it up." Uh, and then she said, "Now remember when we were targeting Muslims, and they said it was unacceptable." And she ran a bunch of clips of uh, people, including Hillary Clinton, saying we should not be going into Muslim neighborhoods and uh, religious places and and targeting people who are innocent. 
Well, yeah, that's true, but that's because she said Muslims overall in their communities. They didn't say Muslim extremists. So if you said to any rational person on the left, hey, the FBI has or the United States military has information about Muslim extremists that might do an attack, should they be investigated? Our unified response would be, of course, of course they should be investigated. You know why? We don't want to be attacked by any extremist, Muslim, right wing, white supremacist or otherwise. So, but if you watch that whole segment, Laura Ingram did a master's class in how to lie to people. She pretended they were targeting Christians and all right wingers and all white people and that they were leaving Muslim extremists alone when the exact opposite is true. That's usually the way these things always flow. As soon as you see them pointing out one thing and potentially calling it a hypocritical position, that'll be the one that they tend to take. And then you look the wrong way while they're going ahead and doing everything that they've done. I want to point out one other thing that she pointed out that I think was, it wasn't that subtle, but in the midst of everything else that was the, the basis for her speaking. It was a subtle, I wouldn't call it a threat, but just at least a head nod. And Republicans like Liz Cheney, if you want to prove to us that you're willing to fight Democrats as hard as you're willing to fight Donald Trump or Republicans that love Donald Trump, you're gonna do what I say right here, which is oppose the military, blah, 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 she wouldn't the rest of it. So this is going off of the Liz Cheney challenges that happened within the House and then in their infighting when they tried to rid her of her positioning as one of the lead Democrats in the House, sorry, lead Republicans in the House. Because of her vote to impeach Donald Trump. This is still hearkening back to that. This is bringing back, hey, Liz Cheney, don't forget, a, a, a large portion of the Republican Party is still upset with you, even though you survived because, uh, because McCarthy saved you behind somehow. Don't forget, we're still here and we'll do something to you if you don't start listening to us. You need to prove to us you're still a right kind of Republican. That was still baked in there, very, very obviously. And something that I think is really important to bear in mind also is the extent to the danger brought by white right wing extremists. Over the last 20 years, they have been responsible for more deaths in this country than any other extremist group. And yet Laura Ingram wants you to focus on Muslims or other groups of individuals, not these extremists and white supremacists as well. And the thing is, these are a direct threat to our government. And we got to see some of that going on on January 6th. And if we continue to ignore it and you know she holds up you know, shakes these shiny keys to the side so that you focus on something else and we don't address those things, then it's gonna continue to be problematic. And especially when we have these individuals infiltrating our military who are supposed to be protecting us. So one of our members just wrote in, and I love doing this show with you guys. In a sense, you know, Seattle Seahawks have the 12th man on the field. That's their fans. We we have our 12th host. So perpendicular time wrote in here. Kind of impressive that she just flat out lied about what the Pentagon said. Yes, the Pentagon never said anything about Christians at all. They didn't talk about Christian extremists or Christian moderates. They didn't. They never said the word Christian. Just she just made it up, right? And they didn't say white people in general, that's nuts. And they didn't say conservatives in general, that'd be half the country. <laughs> and maybe more than half the military, that'd be a giant waste of time to inv investigate every right winger in the military. Am I in favor of that? No, the military wastes way too much money as it is. But am I in favor of them investigating white supremacists and, and right wing extremists who are planning to do violence? Who in their right mind wouldn't be in favor of investigating that? Do you want them to just carry out the violence? I, what are you in favor of? It's insanity. Yeah. But yeah. but if their plan is what Laura Ingram said at the end, if you dare investigate white supremacists in the military, we'll make sure that the military budget gets cut. Mm, okay, <laughs> deal. <laughs> I'll take both sides of that. Yeah. All right, we'll investigate white supremacists and cut the military budget because it's I'd much rather have it go into healthcare and education. Deal. Absolutely. And and sorry, my very last thought. Um and Thinking about the indictment that Laura Ingram has on the people that she claims to be a part of the groups of, you know, conservatives, Christians, and Republican, the Republican Party in general. Are you going to weed conservatives out of the military? Are you going to weed religious Christians out of the military? You're calling them all white supremacists. So they, this is the belief pattern. It's if we keep talking about Christianity and conservative movement, they're all white supremacists, right? So stop 
Stop blaming us for saying that many Republicans are, are, are racist and white supremacists and that uh, the conservative movement likes to coalesce around their beliefs. You say it every time. They always point out, they, they give their, their dog whistles to their followers and say, hey, can't you see they're attacking you guys, you Christians, you conservatives? Shouldn't they? Now, they always speak up and say, hey, you libs keep calling us racist. You guys like to use it all the time. Hey, you know who uses it all the time? Laura Ingram uses it all the time to fire you up in the other direction. But when someone says, hey, you guys might want to start rejecting that racism and that white supremacy because you look bad. And in fact, you're dangerous. They go, how dare you? Hey, both sides are calling you what you are. And you celebrate it when Donald Trump and people like Laura Ingram say, hey, my white supremacist stand up. They go, yes. So which one is it? You can't get mad when one person identifies you and then the one that you support does the same thing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.